All right, you guys sent this to me. Let's take a look. Uh, Maryland law allows convicted blank to attend Baltimore High School. Public not informed. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Baltimore, the mother of a blank victim, R word victim, has come forward with a terrifying warning for parents. Maryland has allowed her daughter's blank to attend a Baltimore City Public School. What? Wow. Wow. Um, Project Baltimore is not identifying the mother to protect her child. Uh, she struggles. She's in therapy, the girl's mother said. So they, they let him come back to the same school where the, the daughter is? Oh, my gosh. I want to wish what we have done, uh, gone through on my worst enemy in May of 2023. When her daughter was three years old, she was essayed. When she was what? Oh my gosh, three years old. She was essayed, and I knew. Hold on, let me scroll. Thanks, please. And I know statistically, people that deal with essay, they turn to different alternatives. They turn to drugs. They turn to so many different things. And to know that somebody possibly made that decision for her because of their actions is devastating to me as a mom. Because I couldn't protect her from it. I can't change it. The mother told Project Baltimore, according to the court documents obtained by Project Baltimore, the victim was blinked forward by now 15 year old. Oh, what? What is wait? Huh? The victim was a 15 year old relative. Fox News is not identifying him because he's a minor and because of his relationship with the victim. I'm so confused. Is this the teacher or is that that just is another thing that the family had to go through as well? Record shown December 27th, the 15 year old entered a plea in uh, Hartford County, second degree blank, which is a charge that does involve intercourse. The 15 year old was not sent to juvenile detention. Instead, the Department of Juvenile Services recommended a probation. That's, that's the nastiest thing ever. How? He was given 50 hours of communities. This is affecting someone for the rest of their life. And 50 hours is what you gave him? The hell is wrong with people? The hell is wrong with people? 50 hours of community service. I'm trying to get through this. This is really disturbing. Service and counseling for a blank offense and specific treatment. Counseling? As a convicted blank, he was ordered to have no unsupervised contact with children under 15. Uh, this juvenile offender is allowed to continue to live his life completely normal, explained the mother. The court pretty much gave him a slap on the wrist. There was no justice for my child. The court order also says mandatory school attendance or GED, which is what prevents the victim's mother to sit down the Project Baltimore. So they they sent him to school. The 15 year old entered his plea on December 27th over winter break in January. The convicted blank. Uh, sorry for if y'all hear the sirens outside. Man, it's crazy. He returned to class in Patterson High School. Wow. Went to school. There are students every day at Patterson High School that are sitting in class with a convicted blank and they don't know. Yeah. You'll be surprised. This this can't be the first time they did that. This cannot be the first time. Uh, there are students. Uh, yes, replied the mother. They don't have a clue. Community service, 50 hours. And here's the paper and the counseling. Wow. Yeah, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. They failed that child. They failed not the child or the 15 year. That's not even a child. I don't even know. I'm about the one that was assaulted. They failed that child. Patterson High School is one of the largest high schools in Baltimore City. There's nearly 13,000 students, many of which are ninth graders who are likely under 15 years old. According to the court order, the blank has no unsupervised contact with people under 15. Yeah, which would mean that he's going against the terms of the joint. So teachers can't be everywhere. It, it, yeah, they cannot. And also schools are close by to other schools. Right? 
schools are closed by the other schools. He could be leaving his high school and walking past elementary school. But parents and students were not made aware the blank was in school, even though he was convicted of blank. Yeah, that's disgusting. Man. Yeah, it is. Hold on, let me see. I would have to say the state is protecting the blank, the R word, the mother toe project Baltimore. I know if I was, uh, my child uh, in school was convicted with a blank, I would want to know because my daughter could be walking down the hall with him and not even know what he's capable of. So who's protecting him? Yeah. That is insane, bro. That is insane. Under state law, the juvenile blank offender who is not on the registry cannot be barred from attending school in person, except in certain cases, according to the decision, the Maryland State Board of Education, which cites uh, state law, a student can be removed from their regular school program if they pose an amendment threat of serious harm to other students or staff. I, I would think all students convicted of that pose a threat. This is so nasty, bro. I feel like he needs to be taken out of school. Yeah, get this, this nasty ass man off the streets, actually. Put him in jail. Baltimore City Public Schools vigorously work to protect the health and safety of students and staff, yet there are legal requirements that we must follow under federal law, state, uh, state law. We cannot publicly discuss persons. All right. Yeah, they failed this child. They failed the child. He needs to be in jail. He needs to not only be in jail, he needs to be under the jail. And proud as an adult, I don't think he needs to be in the public at all. That is, that's a toy that was broken. Okay, sometimes it just made broken. He don't need to be outside. Jail, asylum, both maybe. Actually, the asylum within the jail. You got this nigga out in the street, very close to each other. Yes, yeah, schools are very close to each other. Him going home from high school can be right next. Man, I remember when I was in elementary school. My older brother was in junior high school. It was literally a block away from each other. My elementary school was a block away from the junior high school. Once you graduated from that junior high school, my brother went to the high school that was on the other block on the opposite side of my elementary school. And then once I graduated from elementary school, I went to the school that was on the other side. So you see how it was just three blocks next to each other of elementary, junior high school, and then high school on the other side of the elementary. This, that's a common thing. And they just got him out here. Just, yeah, let's just put him out there. Let, just let him, let him run around. Let, let your boy run around freely. 50 hours is enough. I think this is getting more than 50 hours for hopping on the train. I'm still in a train ride. Niggas is getting more than that. This is getting 50 hours plus a fine. My man get 50 hours and he get to chill with probation. Go get some therapy. Yeah, that's messed up, bro. That is, that's extremely messed up. Yep, exactly like that in Baltimore. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. Is that a blue state? I have to imagine. <laughs> I don't want to because I don't like going at certain sides too heavy, but I'd have to imagine, as woke as things are, this has something to do with wokeness or why that's acceptable. It's a blue state. Got you. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. The city is liberal. Yeah, they failed that. They failed the city. They failed the, those children. I'm not talking about the one that did the crime. I'm talking about the one that had the crime done to them. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Now, if you have some extra time, can you do me a favor? Check out my music. I rap, I sing, and I make beats. All of that should be linked in the description. Also, if you want to watch me live stream, you can check me out on BXB Boy Live. That's another YouTube channel. It should be linked to my homepage. And you can check me out on Twitch and Rumble. I'm streaming on all these platforms, man. I'm trying to just get out there. Also, if you want to support me, you can sign up for my memberships on my channel, as well as my Patreon for as low as $1. You get exclusive access to a bunch of videos early before you even get it on YouTube, as well as videos that's not ever going to be on YouTube. Stuff that actually got me suspended and banned. 
it's it's kind of my anti cancer culture fund for BX Beast Boy. You know what I mean? And it also helps me get resources for certain video essays and things of that nature. Check that out if you're able to. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. And join my Discord if you are able to, man. The link should be somewhere within my description or somewhere on my channel. I would really love to see you there, man. That's where you get a chance to talk to me and the rest of my supporters, man. I appreciate you guys. Bang, gang, out.